Hey, John Gross here. Hey, I recently returned from Uganda and had the pleasure of going with Ivan Odo up in northern Uganda uh, to a village that he was, that's his home village, Etiak. It's uh, north of Gulu. And he's doing an agriculture project. Uh, they've built a building. I believe they're putting a roof on it as we as I speak. And um, it's going to be a multi-purpose building. It's um, it's going to have a, basically be used for a school and for agricultural training, which is what they're doing currently. And then it would be also used as a church. So I've got to see what they're doing there. It, uh, recently, they they dug a well. Uh, it's functional. It's um, it's a community where that right now they've got to walk quite a ways to a school or church or anything. Other, the only thing close is is the well that they built. Um, but they've been going through a hard drought and uh, hasn't rained for quite some time. So they're doing different projects with with the least amount of rain. Um, right now they've just I believe transplanted uh, tomatoes and okra and um, and we'll be doing some hand watering they're covering the plants with leaves I uh, did a few recordings while I was there and Ivan sent me a few more so anybody out there wants to help uh, with this project it's it's really going to be a self-sustainable project once they get done but anyway enjoy the video All this was affected by the sun. That's why you see the maize. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, but potatoes are doing okay. Sweet potatoes. Yeah, sweet potatoes. Yeah. And they are doing okay. Uh, this is the borehole. Uh huh. That's um, the borehole. Yeah, Gohan. This is the name of his father. They yeah. Did it in memory. They did it in memory of your friend's father. <laughs> yeah. His dad. It was born. It's functioning. It was built in, in 2018. Okay. That's, uh, 18. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You saw when we were coming from the main road, we saw only one boar hole. Yeah. All this area had only one boar hole. Until this one. Yes, no, this is the, the second one. Okay. Yeah, second one. But but it, it, the one the it, the friend says that he wanted uh -huh. to do that one i'll take it on the other side with another that some people come from the other side which okay is, it is like maybe like eight to nine kilometers from here okay i'll put that borehole on the other side all right yes. what is it how much did it cost for that borehole? What, what does it actually cost to do a borehole this one was it was done on 18 million. 18 million? Yes. Okay. But right now it has gone to, to 20, 25, but it, it, it depends on the company. Million shillings. Yeah. It depends on the com com company and who do you know. And then you must be technical. Yeah. You can hire only the driller, the truck to drill, and you, for you, you can, you can install it. Mm -hmm. Now me, I can hire the driller which can take you like 10 million. And then we buy this and I just install it. Okay. It's cheaper. Cause you do your own installs. Yeah, yeah. it is cheaper. What, how many, how deep is it? This one, uh, uh, it is having, I think it is like 70 meters deep because uh, it, it we had to put 11 hmm. pipes and and each pipe is four meters okay is a meter as close to th a meter it is 100 centim 100 inch no 100 centimeters so yeah. from the end of your finger to that uh -huh. right there from here yes which is 100 okay. centimeters that is one meter okay yeah but it, it is because it is in the north that's why sometimes it is deeper, deeper yeah. yeah but some areas is like 30 feet, some areas 90 feet. Mm -hmm. But now here, where you see. Is that okay or no? <laughs> no. <laughs> right hand, change this hand. 
Eh, ya me. This is our agriculture demonstration farm we are working on in the north so the way you're saying we are planted here tomatoes now we are trying to cover to cover them because these are new plants they are from the nursery bed we have brought them now in the main garden now we are using leaves to cover them so that they may not be hit by the direct sand at the moment we don't have rain we have we have spent a month without rain, but we are not going to wait for rain. We have to plant so that we need to to live, we need to eat. What you're seeing behind me, that is a school. Yeah, we want it to, we want it for our classes because right now we have classes under the, the, the trees and sometimes the weather is not so friendly. Yeah, but that is our school. We want it, we want, we want it to be for our training, our training will be taking place there. We have three rooms, three classes, and then a store and an office on it. Yeah, that is the project right now we are working on. Yeah, for now it has turned, it has turned because of some funds, but we are trying our best to look for someone who can help, help us to roof it because uh, we have the windows and the doors but it is only the roofing we just need like five million to finish it to finish the roofing and then to, to fix in the windows and then the doors so that next year we may have a place where someone can come and then someone can enjoy and then have his classes in a nice way other than other than under the trees yeah that is our that is our building it's just next behind me yeah and then uh so if i move like this yeah the other area that one that's where we are going to do the demonstration of plants vegetables and whatever which will be taking place on that land and then be here we have a plan of putting like chicken house some animals also and some birds which be, be there okay that's the video so john gross here for global impact relief for pastor billy boat and if you would like to help out on this project i'll put the link uh, to his ministry below Thank you and God bless.